So, tell me, when did you first come across the uh, prior print about Carnival in Port of Spain? Um, it must have been uh, when I was probably a teenager, when I probably became aware of it. I may have seen it before. But the thing is, as I was, you know, into art and stuff like that, I did art at O levels and A levels. And I would have seen it in some type of um, public space. So maybe a government building or something like that, where you would see, um, and you look at it and you oh, yeah, that's Frederick Street, isn't it? And, you know. Oh, so um, you know the street? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Do the yeah. buildings still look like that? Um, no, but there are lots of sort of pictures of turn of descent, three port of Spain, where you would see see the um, the architectural no. Yeah, that, that would have that would have been that would have been Frederick Street. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially for somebody living in town. I mean, I'm I'm sort of even though I was born in the south, I I, I grew up in town. So, yeah. So I, I quite. I, so would people have it in their homes? Would it? I mean, where I, would people see it? I I think that people would have seen it. I think most people would have seen it, um, in a public space as well. Um, and then some people would be lucky enough to maybe have a print in their home. Um, so, possibly, I would have probably seen it in, in maybe an art gallery in, in terms of like some of their prints that they had on offer type of thing. It could have been that as well. I can't remember, to be quite honest with you, I can't remember exactly where I saw it right. first. But you knew it. But I knew, I just knew it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a funny thing. What, what about the characters? Do you, do, you, do you know anything about the characters? Or? Yes, but looking at it immediately, you see... The Jab Malassi in the middle, obviously, he's like, you know, a very, very um, sort of well-known carnival, a traditional character. So, you know, one of one of the, one of the, uh, within the, within the realm of the, those devils and stuff like that, they were blue devils and all sorts, but I think Jab Malassi was, was one that everybody knew. They were always painted in black paint or, or I guess, originally molasses, molasses. As, as, as the, um, as the name suggests. Um, um, but do, I, do you know where he comes from? In terms of in terms of that, I like wouldn't know that unless I grew up with someone who would have told me. Well, you know, Jab Molasses came from this or that, or what the actual tradition is, and why they would use um, uh, molasses or whatever. I know oh, it's, it's a wonderful because I work with carnivalists who came over from Trinidad. Yes. And they told me all about Jab Massey, which which was um, when the French plantation owners, because yes. there were French fleeing the French Revolution, yes. who went and stayed in, in Trinidad. That's right, yes. Um, and they took Carnival with them. Yes. And it's one of the origins of Carnival in Trinidad. Yes. And the slaves, of course, didn't, didn't play Carnival. No. Um, that wasn't allowed. No. But the French plantation owners would cover themselves in, in molasses to black up. Really? And they would put on pants, you know, the slave pants, and, and they would play the slave oh, as had, carnival. I had no idea. And so idea. after okay. slavery, uh -huh. what happens is, is that the ex-slaves are able to play carnival. Right. And so Jab Malassi is someone who's black, ex-slave, uh -huh. pretending to be a white right. plantation, plantation owner, owner. <laughs> playing a black no slave, way. reversing <laughs> the whole thing. And, and of course... The devil of the sugar cane. Of course, That's yeah, the yeah. devil of work, the yes. devil of slavery. Of course, of so course, So yeah. an amazing character. Oh, wow. I had no idea about that whole sort of, sort of the, the slave playing the master playing the slave. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, and the women too, because yeah. they may have been maids in the houses. That's right. Yes. And so the yeah. costumes they're wearing are... Would have been the, French influence. The, the, well, yeah. they're, they're, they're probably the... the Costumes stolen from the um, the, master, yeah. the the mistress's wardrobe yeah, or thrown yeah. out or oh, something. Exactly. So they're playing the mistress. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and you see the masks on their faces, so they're obviously sort of taking from that whole tradition of the masquerade before Lent, because of course that's where the whole um, idea of carnival came from. Is just before Lent, um, you know, they would celebrate and have these masquerade balls. I think the French used to have these masquerade yeah. balls. And, and of course, yeah. there's another double inversion because yeah. the was the masks came from Europe. And yes. they had white faces. Yes, yes. So it's, <laughs> it's really a lot of a lot of you know sort of double entendre and 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 and, and stuff in here. But it's really interesting how how Juve developed over time because of course this character was not usually seen in broad daylight. At least by the time I was old enough to to know Juve, it was you know it was in during dawn and of course you over is, is is the meaning of juve it's just like an you know, opening of the day kind of thing and um 
and the, you know this character was obviously always you know seen then and when and when the sun rose he would sort of you know sort of you wouldn't see Jack Malassi so much anymore and you would see the pretty mass what we call pretty mass you know it, I think that there. comes from the, there was a law banning kind of subversive behavior yes, during carnival yes and yes. so what people did was they took the dawn before carnival yes. for all the subversive behavior yes. which is what <laughs> juve is yes exactly <laughs> did, do you exactly. did you know the devil being held up to the priest Where, which one in in the right of the print oh my goodness there's yes. there's the priest yes I and know. she's holding the figure of the devil up to him and he's looking oh my god i don't want to know about oh this goodness, uh, which is yes. a kind of image of juve yes, yes which is which is another yeah sort of sort of um sort of driving home the point that that's what it's about you know yeah. and, and they sort of see symbolism in the piece as well you know i never noticed that that part of it but yeah and he's looking so disdainful over yeah. the whole thing, but she's showing him that this is what it's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. How did you come across this, and how did you come to be involved in, in getting this piece? Because I worked with Carnival in Notting Hill, a carnivalist in Notting Hill for sort of from the very beginning. Yeah. And then in about '89, we did an exhibition um, called Juve, where we invited kind of carnival um, makers, um, poets, painters. All right. kinds of artists to oh, make wow. an exhibition called Juve. Fantastic. Um, wow. And then we toured it around the country. Yes. Oh, um, wow. So, and this print, it was, we did that in 88. Right. And it was a hundred years since right. this print had appeared in the Illustrated London News. Yes, yes. And so we reproduced it in an edition of a hundred um, to, um, yeah. to commemorate. To commemorate that. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I think yeah. this is the first time the carnival appeared in London, probably. Probably. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. That would have been amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, the the whole thing about what I loved about Juvie and that it's dying out right now. Um, and I don't know how much of it is really. I mean, I know it still goes on on a small scale, but the satire and the political commentary yeah. and that type of stuff, which was really such an you know such an amazing part of of Juvie, and that was the only way that people were able to sort of comment on what was going on around them and, and you know have a voice and they would always do it in a in a humorous way like but calypso it, well exactly exactly what calypso was was about as well it was always in a, in a humorous way but there was always a double entendre yeah you know to to, to to let people know listen we know what's going on we're seeing what's happening and you know and we're just observing and whatever it's right, your sister but your mama don't know i know <laughs> <laughs> exactly but that's what i love about you know that's what i love about the whole art form um and 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 it's it's good that it still hasn't died it hasn't died completely but the thing is it, it is a sort of a dying art i think but there are people that are keeping it alive as far as i know as far as i know still yeah, yeah. what what i think there's also in here there's kind of various um other characters that would have been very um common in in, in a port like there are um minstrels probably yes. kind of arabian minstrels yes. kind of the guys yes, on, yes. on the left yes, they, um, yes and there's there's kind of sailors who are up to no good that's right um, yeah because there's a traditional the dirty sailor that's right kind of, the sailor monks. He, yeah the he, sailor monks. he goes and rolls in the dirt yes. and gets really drunk and there's a fun, all of that yeah, kind there's of a, thing there's a dance that they do to show that they're always drunk because every, you know they have a reputation for always being drunk so uh, my uncle actually used to do sailor mass and there was this this you know sort of rolling thing to, to represent that they're on the sea but that they're always drunk you know <laughs> <laughs> so it's like anyway it's amazing um yeah and the minstrels as well those are you know from different traditions and um and, and the indians too no? oh yeah and then the indians as well yeah because those th that would be you know part another part of, of traditional mass where they would sort of research topics and 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 sort of bring out these different characters as well as things that, that you know in terms of like the multiculturalism of trinidad because you know after slavery was abolished you know we had the indentured laborers come in and we had a lot of east indians come in um, and then after that, the, the, um, the Syrians and Lebanese came in. So we had so many different cultures. Of course, the Chinese came in as well as indentured laborers at some point in between um, as well. Um, so it was just such a melting pot of different traditions. You Which know, is so, what carnival is when, when you've got yeah. um, you, you've, you've got Asian traditions, you've, yes. you've got Holly, the kind of oh, festival yeah. of paint, yes. um, yeah, yeah, the yeah. festival of lights. Yes, um, you've, yes, you've, yeah. you've, you've, you've got traditions going back to John Canoe, 
um, and and var various African traditions oh, yes. of, of oh, carnival yeah. um, and yes, West African religion, yes. all in there. all sort of yeah, all sort of all sort of yes, totally multi layered. I mean, by this time, obviously, there was no sight of. I mean, looking at the picture there, obviously, and and the time that this was done, this was eighteen eighty eight. So of course, the pan steel pan wasn't invented as yet. But um, but it's interesting that you know all of those all of those traditions sort of come together and and sort of meld in, into in, into these you know th these different things that were developed over time. I, I think one of the things is that from what I remember, mm -hmm. um, there's been a ban on carnival yes, um, yes. slightly prior to this, okay. so I think this was at a time when yeah when 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 carnival had just become to be, um, you know, okay again. It had yes. been re-legalized. Oh, and I think what has, must have happened is that the majority um, ex-slave population and mm -hmm. non-French white population yes. must have been able to take over. Yes, because we, exactly. we now we now see the, 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 the white population just watching on from the balcony. Yes, exactly. You know. So obviously it was something that was condoned and it was and it seemed to not have been done on the cover of night. No. This this seems to be in, in daylight. So yeah, it, it was a festival that was, you know, sort of expected and people were actually, you know, sort of looking on seem to be enjoying it other than the priest down at the end. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I really love about this print is um Probably only a printmaker would would be able to 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 spot it. Okay. And carnival is um, a collaborative yes, event. You yes, know, I mean, definitely. everybody. Oh, definitely. Everybody makes costumes. You know, it, it's a completely collaborative yeah. thing. Yeah. And so is the manufacturer of this. Yeah. Because yeah. what what Pryor would have done, he would have gone out and he would have sketched yeah. various events. Yes. But he would have needed informers to tell him what the importance of what characters. Yes, were. exactly. So there's that kind of level of collaboration. Yes. He would then have sent in drawings to the, the Illustrated London News. Ah. Um, because this is where it was originally printed. Yes. Yes. And. They could only print engravings at that time. Yes, yes. And the engravings were carved out of wood. Yes, yes. And his drawing is split up into lots of little blocks. Because oh, if you if you engrave wood, you have to engrave the end grain. Yes. You can't yet yeah, do can't the long go. grain. Yes, yes. Because of the detail. Yes. And so you could only work on very small, small squares. Small squares. And you can yes. see the blocks. If oh, you yes. look down the lines, oh, yeah, yeah this is where it's so each block is actually done by a different person. Oh, my God. And oh, so the whole picture is then put together collaboratively. And That's there's a specialist brilliant. in that yeah. system who everyone does the lines to about a quarter of an inch yes. of the edge of the block. Right. And then there's a specialist uh -huh. who, who, joins, sort of joins, who joins the lines up. That's amazing. But there's another little kind of thing that goes on in here. Uh -huh. Because one person has two... Two left feet. Is it left feet? Yeah, two left feet. Because somebody made a mistake. Oh my god! I'm seeing it. <laughs> I've never noticed that. Oh my god! That's amazing. Which is a wonderful thing. Like yeah. somebody got an idea on one block, and someone had another, another idea, idea on, on the other, other block, block. And, that, and that's how it came out. But it, it, it really sort of doesn't even matter because you don't really notice unless you point it out. Well, I think and it's part of really... the anarchy of carnival. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's beautiful, actually. That's amazing.